Hey guys, it's El Solomon 13. I'm back here. And when I left you guys off, we were uh, surviving a skeleton on my nipple world. So, um, let's get right back into the action. Okay, so I was here, and is the skeleton? Yes, the skeleton's still there. Okay. Um, I need to get some, some cobblestone. So let's dig. There it is. That's some stone right there. Now I'm gonna use that couple stone to make stone tools because stone tools are much more durable, durable, is that right? Yeah, whatever. Durable than uh, wooden ones. And so what I would suggest is whenever you start making your tools, just make a wooden pickaxe. Don't make anything else wooden because you can just collect stone with a wooden pickaxe and make everything else out of stone. And you might be lucky enough to find iron. Now see this right here? This is sandstone. It's basically the same as sand, except it's harder, and it doesn't follow gravity. When I dig that out, the sand stays. Now, however, if I dig this out, sand falls. Sand follows gravity, but sandstone does not. Sandstone is basically compacted sand. So, let's get all this stone here. Stone, you will realize, when I break it, it does give you cobblestone, which is basically just beat up stone. Um, and the only way to get this actual stone to place down is if you cook it in a furnace. Yeah, I know, it's weird. But, um, let's see. You will find that as you play through the game, cobblestone at first is very necessary. But it won't be surprising if you do a little mining adventure and come back with like 37 stacks of 64 cobblestone. Cobblestone is very common and you're probably going to get your inventory full of it. So... Now, we uh, I showed you how to make the pickaxe in my last tutorial. By the way, if you haven't seen that, I'll probably put the link to the first one in the description, or you can just go to my videos and look at part one. <clears throat> now, the pickaxe obviously is used for mining stone and stuff. Now, you gotta have some way to fight off enemies. So, to make a sword, you could do a wooden one, just like you did with uh, like a wooden pickaxe, with a stick, but instead two wooden planks. And that's how you get a wooden sword, but I don't want a wooden sword. See how it makes kind of the shape? of a sword. There's the handle and there's the thing. Yeah. <clears throat> that will, but we want to do cobblestone. So we get a stone sword. Now eventually you are going to find more materials in the game that give you you can make diamond swords, iron swords, golden swords and that's pretty much it. But this is a sword and it's awesome. If you right click it will defend which means you take less damage from being hit this is kind of a new feature, so I haven't really tested out, tested it out yet, because Minecraft updates all the time. <gasps> sunrise! Is that the sunrise? Please tell me that's the sunrise. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a creeper right outside my freaking house. No! 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 As this is a creeper, they explode. If you get too close, okay. If I get too close to him, he's gonna blow up and destroy all of it. There we go. Creeper. There's another ah, skeleton. Um. The bad part is uh. Creepers do not burn in the sunlight. You see, all monsters, once the sun comes up, will burn in the sunlight. Except for spiders. Spiders, they, they become neutral. Oh, God. I took full damage. No, 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 no. Go away. Okay, I got string. Spiders give you string. And that has many purposes. That skeleton is, is burning. That's an enderman. Don't, don't, don't even acknowledge them. If you look at them, they will kill you. No! Okay. Creeper is dead. <clears throat> There's another one. Creepers are kind of like the ideal meme of Minecraft because they're so frustrating. The first time you ever play Minecraft, you're probably going to get killed by one of those without you even knowing it because they don't burn in the sunlight, they don't make any noises, 
other than footsteps. And they come up behind you, and they blow up. And it, the worst part is that it destroys your creations. So if he was to blow up right here, all of this would be blown to bits. Which sucks. But, it does add a little bit of challenge to the game. Okay, so my house is looking stupid, but uh, I need some kind of door. So if I want to make a door, I need well, I need some more wood. But if I want to make a door, I would make kind of like the shape of a door with wooden planks. And there we go. There's the general shape of a door, and you get a wooden door. Now, no monsters can open wooden doors as far as I'm aware. So, they won't be able to get through. They'll just hop outside trying to get in. But you, by right-clicking or left-clicking it, yeah. But I would say just right-clicking. You can open the door and close it. Now no one can get in, but I need to make a roof. Alright, quick, I'm going to show you... I don't want to fall back. Here. The other tools that you can make. The basic tools. Never mind, I need more wood. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Need to go out and uh, cut some wood trees. Now there are two types of wood in this game. This is like an oak tree, I believe, and this is like a other kind of tree. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter which one you pick up, um, because they both turn into wooden planks. Oh, uh, you know what? Do I have? But I'm going to make this speedier. I'll show you the other tools since I have a good amount of wood. Now! Alright. So, I'm going to make my wooden planks again just like I did before. Now I have nine wooden planks. Make some more sticks. And here is how you make a shovel. Ah, uh, my mouse is wigging out! You take the sticks, put it like this, and one thing on top, wood, cobblestone, whatever you want it to be, and you get a stone shovel. Now shovels are used for breaking things like dirt and sand. See how quickly I broke that? Compared to just fists, when you use a shovel, it's a lot quicker. And depending on the type of shovel, a wooden shovel isn't much faster than your fists at all, but using something like a diamond shovel is practically instant, how quickly you break the sand. So, let me see how I'm doing on my video here. How long is this? Okay, still got a bit of time. Now, oh, music's kicking in. My volume's so low. <clears throat> now, the next tool you're going to want to make is a axe. Now, an axe is made for breaking wood. That's pretty much it. But you put the minerals like this. Stone is like what to use. And you can see these materials are already already being broken down and degraded because they do have durability. The axe is perfect right now, it doesn't have any durability because I have not used it on. So keep a lookout for creepers. And now let's compare fist speed. Here's me hitting him with my fist, or actually with wood. To an axe. An axe is much quicker. As you can imagine, a diamond axe is practically instant. Now, it's really stupid to use <laughs> tools that, uh, like an axe on anything other than wood, or use uh, a shovel on anything other than dirt or sand, dirt products, or gravel. We'll talk about that later. <clears throat> Because it does just waste the durability more, and it's slower than your fists. Okay. So let's see. This my house looks awful. I gotta do some nice touches. Now I probably haven't shown you this because I haven't found it yet. We need to find coal. Coal is extremely important in this game. <clears throat> Using coal, you can make torches. And you know how monsters spawn at night? Well, that's because it's dark. If you light up something with a torch, a monster cannot spawn. Torches make it where monsters cannot spawn anywhere in that area. So, 
think there was a yeah there was a cavern over here. Coal has to be mined with a pickaxe. You know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a stone pickaxe real quick, just in case we find something. Never know. So let's make our wood. <clears throat> Make some more sticks. Stone pickaxe. But I'm gonna use up my uh, wooden one when I can. Oh, what the heck? Fucking parkour here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I was looking at. Oh, this is it. Wow. Okay. little house. I'm gonna have to do some touches on that because it looks really bad. Um, you know what? I'm moving. I'm moving. I hate where my house is. I don't like desert biomes. You know what I could do? No. I don't know. Come on. We're moving. I'm relocating. Craft a bench. My wood. Other than that, this. Yeah, I guess I can get this dirt. But I'll leave a big gaping hole in the ground. Okay, there's a big hole in the ground. Okay, so now I'm relocating. Maybe some monsters will fall in there. You know what? I don't know what tools breast best breast. <laughs> best for breaking up the act of use my fist. Thing. Just in case I wanna take some protection with me. Oh, I'm getting kinda hungry, but I need to cook that. Okay, I guess that's what we'll just I want a seaside house. No, I don't. What do I want? I don't know what I want. Um, let's see. I'm sprinting. I, yeah, I, yeah, I forgot to mention that last video, guys. To sprint, you double tap forward. Holy crap, this is a ravine. And that's coal. And that's iron. Wow, this is perfect. Okay, so ravines are basically features added to the game pretty recently. They basically, um, basically ravines. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I need to get that coal, but I will die by that fall. What I could do, oh, this is gonna be so. This is like a James Bond move. Just watch this. Watch this. Watch. You can land in water, and water makes it where you don't take fall damage. Look at these skills. Look at that. That water's gonna push me off. Ah, okay. <clears throat> oh, I hear a spider. Oh, and there's a zombie. You see how there's no light over there? And then there's monsters spawning in there? Because there's no light. That's blocking out the light. Now, if I put a torch over there, they will stop spawning. Alright, so let's get this coal. Might have to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Eh, I gotta hurry up and get my coal. Coal is one material in the game that you will always, always need. Uh, you'll find though is as you keep playing, when you get to a certain point, you're just gonna be like, there's way too much coal. Because coal is nice at first, but then it gets really annoying. Now, that above it, that kind of tan colored ore, that is iron, and that can only be mined with a stone pickaxe, which is why I made my stone pickaxe. Get up here. I hear a bunch of, bunch of monsters. There must be like a cavern near here that they're spawning in. 
Let's see, make a little stone back on there. Just want to use up this. Oh, I think that coal fell down. No! Oh, I'm never going to get that back. No. Some more coal, some more iron. But now I have a decent amount of coal. Now I want to get this iron. Now I. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, that's cobblestone. That's a dungeon. I haven't seen a dungeon forever. Okay, I'll talk about that later, but it's getting night. And monsters are going to start spawning everywhere, but not to worry, I have coal now. Now, coal is very important for cooking things, but also making torches. Now, torches, like I said, make monsters from not spawning. They can't. And what you do is you take a stick, and you put a bit of coal on the top of it, and you make four torches. And you can craft this in this little crafting table because it only uses two spots. You can craft it in the big crafting table if you want to, but it doesn't matter. So now we have torches, and bam, it's lit up. So now no monsters can spawn anywhere near here. And I am pretty much safe unless one decides to go freaking kamikaze from up there and jump on me. But I'm going to go ahead and collect this uh, iron. What did I say like that? <laughs> collect this iron. So, collect this iron, and I will... Oh, come on! I will make a camp here for tonight um, because it's way too dangerous to try to run home. Ow. Okay, I'm I'm gonna make a little home on the side of this ravine. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna come down. Got pretty much everything I need. I'm gonna make a ravine home. Right next to this water. For now, this is just temporary. This is a base. This is a protection center. Okay, well, the video is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to have to end it here. But I hope you enjoyed this second part of Beginner Tutorial. I hope you're learning, even though I'm not teaching very well. But uh, when we return, I'm exploring that freaking dungeon. Yes. I wonder what's inside. <laughs>